Hey everybody, welcome back to the My Bourbon Journey Whiskey Review Channel. My name is Scott. If you're new to this channel and you're looking for reviews of different whiskeys, such as bourbons, rye, American style whiskeys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure to hit the bell notification. That's going to alert you to new uh, uploads or live streams. So today I've got two products. I've got the Bakshi uh, Straight Bourbon uh, Whiskey and I've got the uh, Bakshi uh, Straight Rye Whiskey. So starting first with the uh, Bakshi uh, Bourbon, first I need to say a little something about this. The backstory of the brand and how it kind of became is absolutely incredible. So I'll leave a link in the description below to a couple of interviews that they've done with the owner. And you really need to listen to his story of how this all kind of became um, a product, a brand, all of that. So, I mean, it's absolutely amazing and fascinating. And I would say it's very uh, James Bond-esque. So I'll leave it at that. Hopefully you'll check out a couple of those uh, links in the description below. And I hope to, at some point, maybe even do a live stream with uh, the owner. And I, I think, I know it's James, I think the last name is Thoreau or Thereo. Uh, hopefully I'm not butchering that too bad, but uh, hopefully we'll we'll be able to do a, a live stream with, with him and just kind of let him kind of share the story. But first and foremost, uh, we've got their bourbon and rye, and I wanted to, to kind of do a, a review for you guys uh, today. So first going to be the uh, straight bourbon whiskey. Mash bill, mash bill on this, undisclosed. Um, proof on this 90 proof or 45% uh, ABV. It is um, age stated on the back as uh, two years. So we've got a, a rear um, age stated as two years. So uh, MSRP on this, I believe is right around that $40 uh, price point on, on that. So, and then we'll lead into the, into the rye, but first we'll start with their, uh, with the bourbon. So, so as you can see, again, with it only being aged two years, um, you know, there's not a, a really big, deep color. So it's more of kind of a, like a light apple juice, more of like a Chardonnay wine type of, of color to it. Uh, the one thing I would say is as I do move it in the glass, it does actually have some pretty good legs. It's showing that it is uh, fairly oily, which is, which is kind of nice. I'm assuming there's some chill filtration and water uh, added, I mean, with it being 90 proof, so. All right, let's get into the uh, let's get into the nose. Yeah, so right away you get hit with that kind of that youth. There is a little bit of that that grain presence there. Oh, some floral aspects to it. Maybe even like a little bit of like a green citrus type of note. Um, and even um, picked up like a little bit of like a green um, like a green tea um, like a herbal green tea type of of nose. A little bit of a light oak presence to it, but some of that youth is is kind of uh, showing. So let's see what we've got on the uh, on the taste. Cheers. So right away, I'd say more oily than I thought it was going to be. There's a soft kind of caramel note to it right away. Maybe even like a light honey aspect to it. Still a little bit of that grain forwardness. Uh, not super grainy by any means, but there is some of that, that youth grain kind of coming out. Um, even maybe a, and I, this is one thing I get on, on younger like bourbons or younger whiskeys, is this like confectionery sweetness to it. I don't know why, but a lot of times when it's, a little bit grainy and and still young i get that that kind of corn sweetness that like confectionery sweetness that kind of comes out in it yeah just some of that kind of corn sweetness so but again more oily it actually has a better mouthfeel than i thought there would be so um slight slight um amount of spice to it so not bad. I think this is going to be one of those those bourbons that give it some time. I think you can you can really see like where it's going. I think as it begins to really age, it'll really start to to hopefully shine a little bit more. You know, finish wise, I'd say is you know probably on that shorter side. Um, you know, not a huge finish, but more of that kind of still that confectionery sweetness, 
a little bit of that grain presence, a um, little bit of spice there to it as well, a um, little bit of kind of underlying sweetness. So um, anyway, so yeah, we'll see where that kind of uh, develops. So let's move on second to the uh, to their straight rye whiskey. So we'll see what we've got with with this one. So again, this is the Bakshi straight uh, rye whiskey. Again, uh, mash bill undisclosed on this one. Again, 90 proof, 45% uh, ABV, and same as the bourbon. It is age stated on the back as uh, two years old. So uh, MSRP on this, again, I believe is right around that $40 uh, price point. So, all right. So as you can see, kind of a light, again, like a light honey, very similar to, to what the bourbon was, a kind of like a Chardonnay type of appearance to it. But again, as I move it around, it's fairly oily. I mean, it's more for a 90 proof, um, most likely chill filtered. It's it's fairly oily, which is a little bit surprising. So that's that's nice to see. I mean, that really will help with the overall flavor um, kind of develop. So, all right, let's get into the uh, let's get into the nose. Oh boy! So right away, actually, a nice mint, like a really nice spearmint type of of nose light oak to it ah, nice like lemon zest there's a really nice lemon zest on this one a little bit of that herbal characteristic kind of coming through which you'd kind of expect um not a lot of heat um, by any means with it only being 90 proof again maybe some light oak maybe a little underlying vanilla note to it yeah all right let's see what we've got uh what we've got on the uh the taste profile cheers So right away, some of that mint really starts to kind of shine through. Don't don't get nearly the amount of youth on the rye. And that comes a lot of times. Rye's age much quicker and different than bourbons do. So younger ryes can taste, you know, much better, much, you know, give you uh, an idea of it just being uh, ready much earlier. So, but again, a nice lemon zest to that. Some vanilla sweetness that's there. Again, that that rye spice is coming through. Not dominant or anything by any means, but it does let you know for sure that it's a rye whiskey, especially right away you get hit with that mint uh, right away. Medium spice to it. Some light oak. And still even a little bit of that, that herbal characteristic to it as well. Yeah, it's actually a really nice, enjoyable uh, rye whiskey. I would have no problem sitting down and sipping on on that. Some of that underlying sweetness there to it. Again, when you start to get into the finish part of it, you know, it's still probably on the shorter, medium side, but it's a rye whiskey. It generally will leave a little bit more um, something there um, just because with rye being much spicier, much more of a dominant grain, um, it lets the the finish kind of become a little bit more than a bourbon will. So it's really nice. And I think this is one specifically that with a little bit more time, I think this could really, really start to, to, to shine. Um, I think it could be a really nice um, rye whiskey. And I hope their plans are to, um, you know, to allow these to, to be, you know, aging you know, even more and not just keep putting out two year stuff, even though I think it's a good product right now, I think it'll get even better. So again, going back to the rye, you know, it's probably this is a little bit more on the, the shorter side of medium. Maybe it's still, still a little bit short, but it does remain or leaves a little bit of that, that nice light spice, that nice mint that's there, that underlying sweetness, a little bit of a zest, like that lemon zest is still there. Yeah, I think it's really overall a, a really pretty solid uh, rye whiskey. So um, I guess just a little bit of a recap, I guess uh, Bakshi bourbon, Bakshi straight rye whiskey. Uh, keep an eye on these. Uh, again, both 90 proofs, both uh, rear age stated as uh, two years old and uh, MSRP again, right around that $40 price point. So I'll have all links in the description below to them. So I wanna say thank you so much again for tuning into uh, another review. Again, I'll have links uh, to 
uh, Bakshi uh, below. So check that out. So again, thank you so much for tuning in to uh, another review. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can through my Patreon page, which I'll have linked in the description below as well. So with that being said, so like, subscribe, comment, and always remember it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.